The Guyana Sugar Corporation Gainsuko is making progress in marketing its packaged sugar, which is anticipated to be more profitable than the sale of bulk sugar. Speaking at a media conference on Friday, Chief Executive Officer Mr. Sesnarain Singh noted that the world market price for bulk sugar is approximately US $320 to $340, while cost of production is US $600, which is a burden on the people of Guyana. What we have started to do aggressively is to sell a greater portion of our sugar at the packet sugar level. So our packet sugar is $679, averaging. 600 is the cost of production. There is a profit element of $79 there. Business, that is how we're doing it. And that is how we're going to return this industry to viability. Mr. Singh says after the pandemic, the corporation will be looking to infiltrate the tourism market, the airline industry, and the wider corporate world with the sugar sachets. He disclosed that the marketing team was successful in recapturing the Antigua and Grenada markets. Also, interest has been shown by the Rupununi Chamber of Commerce and Industry to penetrate the Brazilian market in the Amazonian region, which has a preference for Guyana's brown sugar. Meanwhile, Mr. Singh is hopeful that with the reopening of the border with Suriname, there will be an increase in cross-border trade, while the possibility of infiltrating the Jamaican market is being explored. Gaisuko was also successful in attaining a 35% increase in the price for molasses. We want you, Guyana. We want every single Guyanese to become an agent of Gaisuku. Sell, if you don't see a product from Gaisuku in the supermarket, send an email to marketing at gaisuku.com and just say, I went to the super supermarket, I didn't see your sugar. We will get it there. The CEO disclosed that there are currently 400,000 packets of sugar ready for the market. The PPPC government, since assuming office, has allocated some $9 billion to the sugar industry, which was neglected under the previous administration.